What does livestock feed, grain-free dog food, alternative meat products, and specialty food grade items have in common? Peas can be a primary ingredient. Growers across North Carolina have become interested in producing grain peas due to several of these emerging markets in the state. There are some distinct advantages and also disadvantages of growing grain pea in North Carolina. One of those advantages is that peas are high in protein. They run about 20% crude protein. We are a protein deficit state to feed our livestock, so any additional crop we can produce that is high in protein can be beneficial. I've been growing grain peas now for four years. We farm in Southeast North Carolina, in Robinson and Hope County. And um, we, can, we farm about 2,800 acres of row crops, corn, wheat, soybeans, and now also grain peas. And we got interested in grain peas with, gave us another crop to rotate with. Uh, we were growing a lot of wheat, but wheat prices started going down, so we needed looking for something else to spread our risk. And we thought peas would be a good fit, a very low input crop. And it's turned out to be a good fit for our farm. Another advantage of these peas is the unique time frame in which they are planted. These peas are generally planted in December and January and often harvested directly prior to wheat. The major advantage of growing peas for my operation is the planting windows. And uh, it's, re it's a really easy process. We don't have to have buying those specialized equipment. These are grain drill and it's very simple. And also we think we get to harvest our, soy our, our grain peas a little earlier than we do our wheat. That allows us to get our double crop soybeans in earlier. A final advantage of producing these peas in North Carolina is that they have some rotational benefits. Peas are a legume similar to soybeans and so they can have residual nitrogen benefits to the following summer crop, whether that be cotton, corn, or soybeans. And also behind the peas, seems like our beans tend to grow off a little faster. And I think that's from the, from the, the nitrogen production of the peas, but they tend to grow off a little faster, a lot less residue to worry with. And also I like the, ro the crop rotation, it helps break up the disease cycle. You know, from a corn, wheat, beans rotation, you get to throw the peas in, and that's a big advantage for us. I think the next step for advancing the grain pea industry in North Carolina, we need to do some more research on the protein content in the peas. Also looking for varieties that have a longer flowering period, because the peas are very sensitive to heat when flowering, and also, also yield. We're still searching for the yield. We're looking to get more yield, but also if we have a longer flowering time, we'll probably get more yield. If we can get higher protein uh, out of our peas, maybe we'll open up a different market, you know, hit this protein sector. And that's what I'd like to see in the future. Our purpose in doing research with these peas is that should stable markets emerge, our growers have the foundational agronomic information that they need to successfully produce this crop in our state.